I'm Nikki Bottom. My friends always make fun of me because they say I live under a rock because I never know really much about anything. Not really current events, pop culture, politics. I just don't like scrolling the internet. It makes me feel bad about myself. So I'm going to have my friends come on and fill me in on things I've missed. And I am going to assess whether or not I even needed to know about that in the first place. Because sometimes it's really enjoyable being blissfully clueless. What do you know about Olivia Rodrigo? Okay, so I was wondering if you were going to bring up Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, for real? Why? Yeah, because I know you're a big fan of hers. And to be honest, I don't know anything about her. And the other day, because everybody talks about her so much, I was like, I need to know at least what she looks like. And I still couldn't tell you. She um, is one of my favorite artists. Yes. And people don't like when I say that. Why? I don't know. She, oh, She's like a young girl. How young? Um, I think she's 20. Or something at this point. Um, I became a fan of hers at like 17. When she was 17? Yeah. Which I think is something people don't like. Okay. But you weren't like, I want to have sex with you. You just said like your voice. Yeah. I'm not like, I don't, when I, when I become a fan of singers, it's not because I want to fuck them. That's it's because yeah. I think they're good uh, singers. musicians. Okay. And um, for, so she started as like a Disney star. She was okay. on like. I forget, like High School Musical, okay. the TV show or something like that. And so she's like been this little, you know, cute Disney singing girl. industry girl f- since she was very young. Okay. And then she, um, I, she, she, when she was six, yeah, 16, I guess, she uh, went through like a breakup with one of her co-stars. Okay. Kind of public. Okay. And started writing songs about it. Okay. And they are like. It, the first song she wrote was called Driver's License, which mm-hmm. is like one of her most popular, which is how I know she was 16 because she got her driver's, driver's license. license. Okay. Um, but the reason I like her is because, as you know, I'm a very emotional person and the music I like is like sad, very emotionally charged. Not even sad. I like cocky stuff. I like happy stuff. I okay. just need I need to feel what the singer is singing. Okay. And it's harder. It's hard to like match a. 16 year old girls first heartbreak emotions like With that yourself. is some of the it's heaviest hard. okay you know what i mean like do you remember your first, first breakup and you thought it was the end of the world yes and nothing is ever going to be okay again yeah that that's what she was singing was like I, you hear it as someone who's like oh this 16 year old's going through a breakup you're like girl get over it yeah, like, yeah your yeah, life yeah, goes yeah. on but when you think back to those days, it's like the most emotionally charged you've ever been. And yeah. you're in your room and you'll never be happy again. And yeah. this man like ruined your life and all this stuff. And so I just love music like that. And so that song came out and I was like, all right, this is, she's going to be a star. Okay. And she kind of already was going to be anyways because she has the industry on her side. But then she came out with this song called Deja Vu, which is she's singing to the new girl her guy is dating Ooh. and she sings about all the things they did together like specifically like we would go to the boardwalk we would share a strawberry ice cream cone he would put on my jacket and act cute because it was too small on him and she's like i know he's doing all this stuff with you she goes i know i bet he's playing you billy joel and telling you he loves you in between the chorus and the verse which <laughs> is which is the same shit he used to do to me which I think is like the most cold-blooded song you can put out because it's just once this girl he's dating hears it, she goes, "Oh, I'm not special. This guy is just doing his moves." She's literally just singing it to this one person to ruin their any chance they have. That is, she's evil taking away shit. every all the cute shit he knows how to do. She's taking that away for all of eternity to anyone who hears this song about him. So he Damn. has to come up with all new moves for these girls. Well, he has so many years to do it though. Sure, but it like. You know that he did some of those with his new girl. Yeah. And you know they listened to the song and, and she was and like side eyeing him a little bit yeah. and being like, Oh no. Like I think that's the most cold blooded shit. And she was, you know, seventeen, eighteen when she did that. I was like That's petty shit. It's so petty and it's so badass and I just love shit like that. Yeah. So then she came out with an an album and it's all about, you know, this guy and how he sucks and he broke her heart. And then um she has a new one coming out soon. Oh. But on top of that, I think she's like incredibly talented. Her music is fun to listen to. I also came up on Paramore, who's been my favorite band since I was like a kid. I don't really know Paramore because I feel like Paramore wasn't big in Canada. That sucks. Yeah. Is that the one? They're incredible. Uh, okay. um, Haley Williams is like the most talented singer alive, I think. Is it? I
That doesn't sound familiar. That sounds like Panic at the Disco. Oh, that is. Yeah. I chimed in with the Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's, that's another a, American that's a thing. Guy. Oh. <laughs> that's a man. He goes, hi. No, I'm in the business of misery. Let's take it from the top. She got a body like an hourglass. It's ticking like a clock. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't oh, know that. Oh, I never meant to break, but I got him where I want him now. Oh, uh, it was never my intention. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. Now I know that from living here. Which is, uh, they were like this female-driven rock band. And I just I just think emotionally women can, can sing emotions better, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and so I've always been like kind of drawn to pop stars or like female. I, I fucking love Adele because it's like. Do you like Alanis Morissette? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, want, you want the emotion? I mean, like Alanis Morissette was someone my mom listened to. Shut the fuck so up. So I was like, we could listen to her together because I was like, oh, this is fucking. Yeah, she's brutal. I mean, my mom went through a divorce when I was very young. Oh, okay, okay. And so she's like, oh, I, I need you're this. Saying. I'm surprised your mom was. My mom was into it, but my mom wasn't like, I need this so that's cool well my mom was very like she wasn't very big to alanis she did she listened to like alanis but she all she, she loves celine dion okay because i'm just saying I'm like, like alanis was like probably 18 and your mom could relate so that's fucking cool yeah well she was so angsty mm. and celine was just fucking heartbroken when and you touch me like this and my mom could sing too she's a singer oh um but yeah, I guess like coming up with her listening to like angsty women and yeah. emotional women because she was also going through that yeah. when I was in my formative years. It's like, that's probably why I'm drawn to that. Yeah. But Paramore did such a good job with that too of like, they were like a young, young rock band singing about like, you know, heartbreak and they were also like um, camouflage Christians. Which oh, I get behind Because I was a huge Christian music fan you growing up. You were a up. Christian music fan growing up? Yeah. Yeah, I had to be. Why? I was a Christian. Whoa. I mean, I liked everything, but I, Christian rock was like a big genre that I was into for a long time. Would you like dance to it and be like, hey, Jesus? I mean, Christian rock can get fucking angsty, too. Do you like Amy Amy Grant? Yeah, that was my first concert I ever went to. Amy Grant, Michael W. Smith. I like w. Baby Smith. Baby. Um, yeah, that's kind of when she went secular. Yeah, but that's... Moth really wants to be in the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> really? I was like, is that... Is that... That's Billy. Yeah, I'm like, that's a... Uh, okay, so now Olivia Rodrigo, that's who you love. Do other people like her? Because why is it so controversial that you like her? I think it's controversial. I like her because I'm a 32-year-old man, and she's like a 18, 20-year-old yeah. little cute girl. Yeah. Um, She's also like very industry-planted. Yeah. Um, the reason I got into a big argument with the person I always get into an argument with is because she was like, she, you know, she, she has this whole team behind her and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, you can have that take, but also like, who cares? Like, yeah, I don't think that ev every artist needs to have a hard life. Like if I could, if I would, I would, I would be happy to hear that somebody rose to the top and was also talented without having to go through what we go through. Yeah, that's a very good point that I'm trying to think like, cause that's just like a projection thought. I think with music, I'm like, if there's a team behind you. It's just what happens. We're used to Disney doing that. Now, if yeah. it was a comedian though, we'd be fucking bitter. I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No. I if think it's important to have a team behind you. I think all the best guys have teams behind you. But them. if it's so easy, like if it. E yeah, but also like. I don't know. I'm not one of these people that's like, it was hard for me. It needs to be hard for everyone else. Yeah. Like, I guess also if you have a team behind you and you started out as a Disney kid, that's not an easy life. Look at Britney Spears. Yeah. Like, I guess after watching the Britney Spears documentary, I'm like, these these people have really hard lives. Yeah. Like, it looks easy, but they're ha they're in the spotlight well, always and mentally ill. It's to me, it's like, it's also like, yeah, I, I can be mad if she's very famous and her songs are mediocre. I think her songs are incredible. So it's like, I don't care. And my other thing with, the, with, any any celebrity when people are like yeah but like people wrote their songs blah blah it's like yeah but when they face criticism we don't talk to the people behind yeah. them yeah yeah Britney Spears is the one that gets shit on yeah she's the face yeah if people want to shit on Olivia Rodrigo they don't shit on her team they yeah. shit on her yeah so it's like you they are the ones facing all the criticism they should also get most of the glory yeah I think that's fair okay so the people that argue with you about her are they jealous are they mostly I think. Yeah, people, like, especially people in artistic spaces get mad when, like, opportunities come easily to others. And it's like, I think that's a shitty mindset. I think, like, 
yeah, do I wish I had a fucking team of Disney Behind writers it. and producers? Do I do I wish it was easier to get into the industry I want to get into? Of course. Am I going to be mad if it's easier for somebody else? No. But 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 the thing is, having that big of a team, like I'm saying, is hard too because you can't just be yourself. Yeah. And and you're being held back and having to like do well, certain things. The other thing is, a lot of people think that she doesn't write her own songs, but I I come from a space where like in interview she says she does, mm -hmm. and I believe her because I'm like, when you listen to the music she writes, I'm like, there's not an old man writing that. Yeah. An old man has an experience heart heartbreak as a 16 year old girl right. lying on her bathroom floor crying. Right. Like, I'm sure you could put those words together, but the way it just it feels very personal when she says it, where I'm like, I, I do think maybe she had help yeah. putting words together, but it's yeah. definitely her experiences and her songs. OK. And, uh, and she went through a public breakup and she's doing this petty shit where I'm like, oh, you know, exa you want to get this one girl. His, you want you want to fucking destroy his new girl. Yeah, which I actually will counter that to play devil's advocate. I don't think it's very nice to try and ru ruin, like, the other girl's life. Not saying I, I wouldn't think that way, yeah. too. But she's, like, out of the equation. It's yeah, the but guy. She, she wasn't even – she's not singing. She's singing to the new girl, but yeah. she's singing about the guy. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's singing – she's trying to ruin their relationship. Yeah. Not even that. She's trying to ruin his – his smoothness tactics. and his moves and his tactics. I would love to have that power. Yeah. That'd be the best. Yeah. Did – have we heard, like, their response to it? No, I don't care about them. Oh, my God. I would love to know the response. I, yeah, I mean, I'm not – I don't – I'm not into the drama. Oh. It's the same as, like, Taylor Swift. It's like, I don't care who the guy was. It's like, I like the song, and it uh, maybe it'll speak to my experiences. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. And if you met her, what would you do? Cry. That is – something we got to work on because if you meet no if i met her i would be very excited um yeah i don't know maybe and you could be like don't worry honey i'm gay so then she's not like oh and people aren't like no i wouldn't lie to her oh i married she okay. is a comedy fan there you go i mean i i'm when i meet artists i just like my i always just want to tell them how much i like, like their stuff yeah but it's true if you tell a 20 year old if you're like i like your your, your song so much no i wouldn't try to hook up with her i know you're not going to hook up with her like you already said that you don't want to hook up with her did i say i didn't want to yeah and just keep saying that <laughs> no i'm just like <laughs> don't change what you said i'm not going to change what i said i would be very excited to meet her to tell her how much i like her music great and how much i'm in love with her Okay, her music. Yeah. How much I'm in love with her. See, this is the issue when I music. when people always try to make it a sexual thing when I talk about how much I like them. I mean, I don't know why it's a big deal because like everybody loves Billie Eilish and Billie Eilish came out when she was like 16 yeah. and everyone like didn't know how old she was. She's yeah, but hot. she's like you know, edgy and grungy and yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's, true. it's more okay for like, like Olivia Rodrigo is very much like girly pop star i see yeah but i've just i've always just been a fan of girly pop star music i mean when i when i was young like br that I first britney, britney spears britney. album i listened to all the time me and my little brother have a choreographed dance still that we did at names night to oops i did it again wow or no you drive me crazy who came up with it me okay dude when i was young i used to take the neighborhood kids and mm -hmm. choreograph dances and we'd put on a show me too i used to do lip syncs Okay. Did you lip sync? No, it was mostly dancing. Okay, if we did it together and combine the two, <sighs> yeah, it would be a lip sync. Yeah, and then I did a lot of Raffi songs. You know Raffi? Yeah, I do know Raffi. Is he Canadian? I think Raffi is yeah, Canadian. Yeah, I love Raffi. You did a lot of Raffi songs. Yeah. Interesting. Raffi is one of my top ten favorite artists of all time. What's your favorite Raffi song? Baby Beluga. I mean the classics. The good one. Um, down by the bay. Did he write that one? Uh, I That's think he a wrote really them all. Really good one. They're all really good then. Yeah. No, he's a monster at what he does. He is better at his genre of like first to second place with him is bigger than any other genre of music with the best to the second best. There's no other children's artist that can even get close to him. Yeah. Down by the bay. Where the watermelon grows. Back, back to, to my, my home. home. I do not he did. Uh, I like I to eat, 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 eat. I mean, he wrote all of those. And he had to he go was really fast. The guy. Damn. And he kind of still is. I don't 
totally like didn't. my niece listens to Rafi. Oh, that's and good. It's 2023. But that's because your sister probably. Yeah. But I think he's still relevant. Good. He's the man. Did you ever listen to Sharon Lois and Bram? No, I don't know what that is. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. Uh, sure. I love you. I know that song. Wow. Rafi. Okay, no, I was doing adult <laughs> songs. I was doing like I was doing like fifties like Do you love me? Oh sure. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I had one C D that was the the best of jukebox rock. Uh huh. Which I think was a bunch of songs from the fifties. Yeah. And so I know like 15 really good 50 songs and we would dance to those mine were the chipmunks so then i would know okay, sure yeah sure and then i had a one called party party the locomotion was on yep okay that was a good one do the locomotion yeah and the superman okay well this is interesting because I, I always wonder why people were yelling at you about this and then i was like do i need to know more about olivia rodrigo people i mean it, she's also like people just like to hate successful pop stars yeah, I felt very out Especially of the loop. Especially pop stars. Are there any other pop stars I should know that I maybe probably don't know? Um. Will you pop star quiz me? Yeah, I I mean, I like, it's not like my favorite genre. Okay. I like the queens. I like, I don't know. I think that. Adele, no, I'm just saying the queens of pop. Oh. <laughs> it's not a band. I love Adele. I think Adele okay. is, you know. Okay. May, may, maybe the best female singer of my lifetime. Your lifetime. And probably a lifetime before me, too. I mean, who was better? Whitney? Yeah. Whitney's amazing. But Gina I, Turner's amazing. Yeah. But Adele is like, man, Adele can, f Adele will fuck up your day. If an Adele song pops up on accident, if you're on shuffle and you hear an Adele song, you could be sad for the rest of the day. That, you she know gets what? so deep down inside of you. Yeah, that's why I can't really listen to her that much. I love it. I can listen Make to me sad, bitch. No, I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be saddies. Yeah, whatever. I like feeling sad. Yeah, you do. Um, I'm, I, I go Adele. I love Billy. I was on Billy when she, when she was like 16. Yeah. I was like, I remember introducing her to an Uber driver who was like, you know, I was playing music and they're like, who is this? I was like, it's this girl, it's this young girl named Billie Eilish. He's like, I really like it. Yeah, I knew only because of Matt. That's why I'm like, oh, fuck, who else is there that I should know? Um, I didn't know Olivia. Olivia. I don't know. I don't know that there's more than okay. that that I listen to. Okay. In terms of like that I'm a fan of. Okay. I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, but. Um. Yeah. Bad Baby. I don't really know Bad Baby. See, I, I think another thing people have a problem with is I have a pattern of like types but I, of. But I just think that like, like a teenage girl's emotions, if they can figure out how to put that into song, like Bad Baby, when she wrote her three songs that I love, she was fifteen. Okay. And she was the cockiest person I've ever heard, and I'm like the cockiness of a 15 year old girl because you don't have any repercussions unmatched. yeah but the thing is but then you could if you get a divorce 45 year old woman yeah. who's now had if you get a woman who's had a like a baby within the last six months and then her husband's cheating on her yeah. give her a fucking well, that's album where, that's deal. where we get adele that's where we get alanis that's where we get alanis that's where we get celine dion is like yeah bro as long as these old bitches keep getting their hearts broken, we'll be fine. Okay, Before the camera broke. Oh, yeah, he started playing me, this guy. What's his name? Louis Capaldi. It's so sad. Very sad. I don't like sad music. Well, his stuff is also, but if, if you listen to it, it's not sad. It's all about breakups, but he's so like, he's so like, I hope, I, I just hope we're both okay. He's like, he's like kind of That's like. That's so sad to say that. I hope we're both okay. Yeah, he. I mean, it's sad in the way Adele's sad, where it's like it's heartbreaking, but it's also like he's like mature and, um, it's like obviously like he he is in control of his emotions and is just like, I don't know. It's it's sad in like a way that is not like devastating. It's just like man, this is what this is what life is. This is what heartbreak is. This is what we go. Can through. I play you the song I wrote when I was seventeen sure. and broke up? Yeah. So I wrote for my breakup and I wrote it. And I was staying with my dad. Um, <laughs> talk about breakups. <laughs> okay. Did you break up with your dad? Always. Um, how do I go to mine? Ding, ding, ding. Uh, I used to write uh, poetry and put it on Facebook. Really? Yeah. Wait, what's this? But it was like very. <laughs> That's a different one. <laughs> 
That was the song. That's your heartbreak song. <laughs> no, but that's a depressing. <laughs> that's that's a that's a sad song, but in a happy tempo. Okay. That's not my heart. Sounds pretty happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so sad. My boyfriend is gone. I'll leave it while I look for the other one. All right. This is when me, me and my dad come together. I just start crying. I was like 18. Why you? What accent is that? Bay. Bay. I'm sweating. What'd you make this with, like garage band? <laughs> yeah. Damn, it sounds good. <laughs> I don't understand your accent, but. Strange, ask me the time. I don't know the day or the year. So. All right. All right. You like it? Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. No offense. <laughs> Find the other song. Okay. I broke up. I broke up with him because it was the end of high school. So I guess I wrote it when I was like seven, yeah, 17, 18. Um, I broke up with him because we were going to different schools. You're going to different universities. Universities. And I loved him. I lost my virginity to him. We were obsessed mm -hmm. with each other. And I just knew I had to break up because we were going to different universities. voice isn't very good in it. I was nervous. Did you send it to him? Looking back, you and I were the meaning of forever. But time changes things and makes people grow apart. Our lives become our own and our love becomes a pain. It's very Wilson Phillips. Where did you come up with the accent you sing with? <laughs> what is what is it? Like, who are you trying to emulate? Matt. Happy day, Dad. <laughs> Matt is always like, you have 15 different voices. Yeah. I do. When I sing, I have like, sometimes I can be like, where, who's bad have? Like, I can do country, sure. and then I can do like, like Nora Jones. But that seems so sincere, but it just had a weird accent. Um, because my dad and I have a really, <laughs> he'll be like, you're flat, you're flat. So then I had to like teach myself little accents to like be able to sing this. Sure. <laughs> what was that accent? That was different than the other accent, right? No, it was pretty similar, <laughs> uh, which is why I'm trying to figure out like who it is or what it is. Oh, isn't it? It's new. It's inspired by like Nora. In it's my mind. mind. In my mind. I always need to know you would be in my mind. Yeah, it's kind of like a lazy, huh. it's Nora Jonesy, like. Yeah. <laughs> with a little bit of twang. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Okay, besides the voice, what do you think about I the I wouldn't lyrics? listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really my, uh, like, I think Nora Jones is talented. I would never listen to her. <laughs> but the dude, my favorite line is, We've outgrown our compatibility. Yeah, you, you might like disagree. That? Yeah, you might. But we've you outgrown our compatibility. compatibility. I'm just saying. Do you think that's like a sick line? Yeah, I was really excited about that line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> because it was the truth. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely am no Olivia Rodrigo. No. Um. That wasn't a. That was like a quick little. That's not like pop star. No, no, that was it's a very indie. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I can play you my other songs after if you want. Oh, can't wait. I have one about my dad being an alcoholic. Hmm. Yeah, so. Dad, why do you drink like that? It makes me feel inadequate. 
can't think of anything that rhymes with that. I didn't even give you a hard word. Inadequate. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. Yeah, I inadequate. Were, I literally thought you were making noises. No, it makes me feel inadequate. Why do you drink like that? It makes me feel inadequate. Inadequate. Yeah, inadequate. Inadequate. Maybe that's why I do an accent so more things rhyme. Yeah. It's like the Eminem method. Yeah. That's my inspiration. Smart. Well, okay. That was that was a good episode. How do you feel? Worse now that I heard your music. <laughs> Wait, you like the other one. You like the chorus of the other one. Leave I think it's catchier. Yeah, yeah, this was just like um, be me being like, Dad, Dad, come on, I can write music too, not just your girlfriend. Pay attention to me. Sure. Look what I wrote. Sure. And then the other one was um, like, I got this. Yeah, you know? a little more confident. Yeah, a little more confident. Okay, so. We're yeah, I prefer Olivia Rodrigo. What if it was me when I was 16? I would prefer Olivia Rodrigo. Mm. All right. This is No offense to you. It's one of my it's least okay. favorite genres of music. What? Quirky girl. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Like the fucking Anna um, Kendrick. The Juno song. Oh, what song is that? Where it's like, wouldn't want to be with anyone else. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 so I got, it's cute, yeah. but fuck cute. I don't want cute. That's fine. Well, that I is. I want emotional heroin. I am cute. Sure. I got yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, my least favorite genre yeah. of music. Well, I guess you wouldn't like guilt tripping either then. What is that? It's the other one I have with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I'm out. Um, okay. And so for that reason, I'm out. Okay, so um, we go, thank you for listening. Mwah. We do that together? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you, you for, for listening. listening. Mwah. Mwah.